Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm Grace, or Gibby, whichever you prefer. And today I'm making a new video on Loco, the unbeatable boss from the April, the so-called unbeatable boss, uh, as we're going to beat him, of course, in this video. Uh, but so-called unbeatable from the April Fool's 2010 uh, event. Now, I want to take on Loco because I took him on in a previous video. Um, but I didn't, I didn't uh, do it that optimally. My method could use some improvements. And I also claimed that I was the first person to beat him. But that was actually incorrect. A guy named Zionis, great YouTube channel. If I remember, I'll link him in the description. Uh, I might forget, to be honest. I'm pretty forgetful. But he did it first, actually. And he used the Necromancer Revive into Book of Burns method. But today I've got something a little different. You're going to be using the Werepire uh, Control Cleanse method, as I call it. Um, the name is a work in progress. But the way Loco works is he attacks you with energy, and that controls you pretty much 100% of the time. And then after you're controlled, he attacks with a huge fire nuke. Um, the reason he did zero damage is because I used the Necro Barrier, and I have four energy resists. Um, but normally what happens is once he's controlled, you're controlled, he attacks the fire nuke, and normally there's not any way to tank that. But if you use Werepire, you cleanse the control, and because you're not controlled, he attacks with energy again. So now all we have to do is defend against energy and make sure our HP is topped up and SP is topped up. And to get my HP, I'm just using Healing Seeds. Um, to get my SP topped up, I'm just using Essence Orb. Um, but we have to do this until he runs out of mana. And then once he runs out of mana, he stops controlling. And he just does an attack that is fire and heals him based off the damage dealt. And when I say heals him, what I mean is it heals him like crazy. If he does about 100 damage, he heals for about um, like 2,000 HP. So normally, even if you have really good fire resistance, uh, you just can't uh, out damage his healing. So to negate that, we're going to be using flat damage reduction in the form of Baby Egg and the Full Grain Grachmahide Shield. Both of these give flat damage reduction, and we're also going to use a Fire Reductive Misc, Amulet of Draconin. So doing all of that, we'll be able to make sure he does zero damage so he can't heal. Now he's getting close to running out of mana, which is great. Let's see how much it is. So he's at 1208. If he goes below 604, he can't cast anymore because that's half his mana. Oh, okay. So he can't cast anymore, which means he's going to switch to his fire attack. So now I'm going to spend a couple more turns just healing back up to full. And I'm going to get my baby egg pet out. So now I have my full grain Grachmahide shield, my damage reduction baby egg pet, my reductive fire misc, and I'm just going to finish healing up. And the real reason, well, one of the reasons I wanted to make this video was I have a much more efficient uh, DPS strategy than I had before. So as you can see, Loco has 25 resists to everything, and that includes harm and void. Um, so there's really no great way to damage him down most of the time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an, uh, a very cool method that involves using neutral damage. Um, to do 100% damage to him instead of 25% damage. Now, neutral damage, a lot of people don't know exactly what it is. It's basically just like if the game doesn't know what element something is, uh, it defaults to neutral damage. So one way to get that is to use a weather, uh, weather rod from Weather Remote from Hollow's shop. If you set it so you choose between elements and then you don't attack with it, it does, um, it does neutral element on whatever. It sets your element to neutral element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Arcane Amp, and I'll use it a couple times, because why not? Um, and now I'm going to heal up my SP again. And now I'm going to use Amulet of Draconin, and I'm going to cast Psycho Candy Hearts. Now Psycho Candy Hearts is a spell that follows weapon element. So as you can see, I hit him for 353 neutral damage. Normally, you'll be hitting him for like 50 at maximum. But because of 
the neutral damage, it does 100% damage to him instead of 25%. So I can hit him for big numbers and uh, not be worried about it. So that's pretty much the method. I'm going to be using Psycho Candy Hearts for DPS. I'm using, uh, currently I'm using the, uh, as you can see, I'm using, uh, what's its face? Legion Fenrir to boost my damage. I think I'm going to switch over to Necromancer's Skeletal um, Deathless Knight Guest because it also follows your weapon element. So this will also... Um, this will also do neutral damage because it follows weapon element. So, all of that said, my path to beat Loco is going to be boosting up my intellect with Arcane Amp, uh, regenerating my mana with mana regeneration, and then slowly DPSing him down with the neutral damage source. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this cool mechanic that I'm using. Hope that it's cool to see an unbeatable boss get beaten with another method. And shout out to Zionis, who discovered the method and I claimed to have done it first, but uh, they did it first. I just want to make sure everybody knows that. I didn't mean to steal any credit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into the method now, into the kill. And I'll see you guys at the end. Uh, have a great day and peace and love, guys. Peace and love.
Oh, oh, oh.